the JAMA Network. William Glenn Scales spent his career working in a hospital but was never a patient. So at the age of 55 to finally suddenly find myself uh, diagnosed with uh, heart disease that required heart surgery was very, very traumatic. In some patients with coronary disease, mental stress can induce myocardial ischemia, which results from decreased blood flow to the heart. We really set out to see if we could test whether a, a treatment focused on psychological well-being, on emotional stressors, might have an impact on minimizing that ischemia. We know very well that acetolopram as well as other SSRIs reduce depression as well as anxiety. Doctors Wei Zhang and Eric Velasquez from Duke University Medical Center and co-authors conducted a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial involving 127 patients with stable coronary heart disease. All the 127 patients have had a mental stress-induced myocardial ischemia at the time they were randomized. Several mental stress tests were used to evaluate these patients, including mental arithmetic, counting backward from 400, subtracting seven each time as fast as possible. 372. Faster. 365. 358. Another required patients to trace a star 30 times in three minutes on a mirror. Remember to stay within the black line. You're making too many mistakes. Patients were then randomized to receive escitalopram or placebo for six weeks. About 34% of them at the end of the six-week treatment did not have a mental stress-induced ischemia in the escitalopram group versus about 17% in the group taking placebo. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. A medication that focuses on reducing emotional stress stress may be a mechanism to manage that ischemia, which is not only important, but which is not necessarily targeted by other therapies. Glenn, now retired, says he's learned some important things about taking care of himself. Get serious about exercise, pay attention to your diet, and the most important thing is just to listen to your body. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.